Maria Dickens started the Animal Awards programme, if you like, um, back in 1943 when she instituted the PDSA Dickin Medal. And she did that um, right amidst World War II, um, where she wanted to recognise animals that were showing um, gallantry and devotion to duty. The PDSA Dickin Medal recognises those animals in, in the theatre of conflict and has been awarded um, over the years to an incredible 75 animals. Um, that includes some 38 dogs, many of whom were the um, military dogs, um, 32 pigeons, messenger pigeons during the Second World War, um, four horses and one cat. Um, so some incredible stories, some very emotional stories connected with all of those animals. It's a quite a large bronze medal. Um, it, it bears the words for gallantry and, and we also serve all encaptured within a, within a laurel wreath. And, and the ribbon is, is quite unique. It's, it's owned by PDSA for the Dickin Medal and, and it's coloured in, in green, dark brown and sky blue, um, representing water, earth and and air to symbolise the forces of um, the naval, land and air forces. What we have demonstrated, certainly in more recent times, is the, the, um, the role that animals play in protecting our forces and civilians in times of conflict and, and working with them. And there have been all of those incredible stories over the years of animals showing that um, gallantry, displaying gallantry and saving the lives of, of civilian and service personnel. And one that particularly stands out to me um, is the dog Theo, um, who was the military working dog with the handler, um, Lance Corporal Liam Tasker. Um, and they were, um, they were out in Afghanistan from 2010 to 2011. Um, Tragically, Lance Corporal Liam Tasker was, was killed in action um, in 2011, um, in, on the 1st of March 2011, in fact. Um, and on that same day, his little spaniel dog, Theo, um, had a massive seizure and, and died as well. Now, we presented Theo posthumously with the PDSA Dickin Medal. Lance Corporal Liam Tasker was a real star. And together with Theo, exemplified the ethos, character and capability of ROVC handlers and their dogs. These animals have incredible skills. Um, at the time when um, Theo was out in Afghanistan, um, he made 14 confirmed operational finds of um, IEDs and, and cache of arms and things. And, and that was the most to date at that time that any dog had found. Military working dog Mali. Um, was a Belgian Malinois and he served in Afghanistan in 2012. Um, was very badly injured, um, but was brought out. I mean, he's one of the team, so the, the team made sure that um, they brought him back, gave him emergency care, and then got him back to um, the UK for, for further veterinary care. Um, and Mali survived that um, incredibly, um, was a very gentle dog. Um, I had the great pleasure of, of meeting Mali um, because um, once he was fit and well, he was um, placed for rehoming. And um, rehoming a Malinois that's um, been in the forces um, requires a particular skill, I think. And, and I have a friend of mine who um, was used to handling that kind of dog. And, and Mali retired literally um, about five miles up the road from me here in Shropshire. Um, and saw how his days um, roaming across Mortimer Forest and, and playing around in, in, in the house. A lovable dog, um, sadly passed away um, just a couple of years ago now. Um, but these animals are incredible. And whether they're um, serving and full on or whether they're just um, looking after the home when they've retired, they are incredible animals.